Hi everyone, so are you having trouble deciding which one you want to play, Paragon the Overprime or Predecessor? Both of them are upcoming MOBA games, as we know right now, Predecessor, Early Access coming December 1st and uh, Paragon the Overprime coming December 7th. Now the reason both got uh, lots of attention is because both of them are kind of a remix of the original game Paragon. The reason to say kind of, well, because there is some differences between them that you should know about. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you that Predecessor is much closer to the original Paragon game compared to Overprime. Where the Overprime, or I should better say Paragon the Overprime, uh, feels like uh, a different MOBA game, like uh, far from Paragon, especially when it comes to, in terms of the map design, its features and even some of the heroes uh, visual uh, features actually changed. Some of them even have different faces changed. Still the map when it comes to uh, visual elements looks similar to Paragon and I think many actually see them kind of uh, both as a Paragon remake, even Overprime. But the more I played Overprime, which I played quite a lot in the playtest, the more I actually see how far it is compared to Paragon. In some ways, I don't even see it as a uh, spiritual successor to the original game and kind of a new MOBA game that it seems like the developer is trying to take it to a different direction, try to innovate uh, and bring in many new features. Some of them I'm gonna, uh, gonna mention right now. For example, lots of those shadow bushes where you get there inside those bushes and there are plenty of them uh, around the environment make you invisible. There is some teleportation portal that you can travel from one side of the map to the other. The old prime can actually attack uh, the enemy's base. Maps are larger and the jungle area is very much different. There are also some invisib invisibility pools. There are also two maps, by the way. Uh, there are some similarities, but there are differences, especially, by the way, in the mid area. Uh, here you see one of them where there's, you see this area in the front left, uh, which is an uh, invisibility pool where another enemy can actually surprise you from the back. Now again, I need to tell you that one of the reasons I love Paragon so much is also because of its map design. Of course, there are some changes. I prefer the legacy map over uh, Monolith, but even then, the map was something that I really enjoy playing. And uh, of course, this alongside the heroes, uh, the mechanics, the gameplay mechanics, how they feel, that make Paragon so unique and fun. Now, I'm not saying though any of this game needs to really stay completely loyal to the original, but the reason they got attention and the fan base is actually waiting for those games is because they want to play Paragon again. This is the main reason I'm following both games. But I can tell you right now, after playing both of them, you still need to see, by the way, uh, Predecessor was quite quiet for the, uh, you know, for quite some time, so we need to see, of course, how everything turned out to be when it's released on December 1st. And in general, there's going to, there are going to be two MOBA games, and of course, I need to play Predecessor again and then make my decision. But basically, two MOBA games, if you're waiting to just jump into a new MOBA game, you're really excited just playing a new MOBA game in general. Even if you haven't played Paragon, uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, right now, again, oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned that also uh, Overprime map is only one tier tower. So basically, there's the tower and then the inhibitor. Uh, this leads, by the way, and I mentioned in previous video, to brawling happening very often in the game. Uh, very e sorry, very early in the game. Uh, this can be uh, an advantage or disadvantage, depends on you want to see it. For example, if the, it leads to shorter play sessions, some may prefer it. It can even maybe fit uh, later on into, I don't know, in a mobile, ga a mobile game because of shorter play sessions. Many of the features, by the way, they are introducing the game can lead to a game that is more fun to watch, especially as an eSport. Now keep in mind, the game can be balanced. For example, they can make the only single tier tower have more HP and deal more damage, it will be more risky to actually try to get inside. There are ways to balance the game. It's not just about the numbers, right? There are two, two tier towers or one tier tower. They can play with it. But right now, is the time of making this video, uh, it's pretty easy to, you know, to pass through uh, the, this tier tower pretty early on and then things just get into group fights very, very fast. So this is why I mentioned in previous video that the game feels more like uh, kind of an overwatchy, uh, kind of a hero shooter suddenly because everything opens up and then uh, you see just groups fighting against each other. And it's not all, no longer about lanes and farming, it's just about which group actually perform well uh, during the group fights and then just push through and most of the time they win. 
Now, this is something big. One of the main reasons I love Paragon is that you're able, even though it seems that you are losing, to turn the tide of the battle around and surprise the team and win. Even one character, they can just surprise one lane, push through and win for the team. This happened quite frequently and it was so exciting to watch and this is one of the main reason I love Paragon, the way it actually played. Now in Overprime, it just felt that most of the time it's not like that. So it's actually lost some of the spark of the original Paragon where I felt like one character can maybe make a big difference. If you level him up fast, you can open a lane fast and can really turn the tide of the battle. But in Overprime, it just didn't happen. And this is something that I noticed because I remember those moments. How come I remember them? Because the, everything was memorable. Those switch in the battle where we suddenly won is something I remember Paragon for. And it just didn't happen, oh, much less when I played Overprime, Paragon the Overprime. So that's what I mentioned in one of the videos that I previously posted, that Overprime is not Paragon. Yeah, you have the same character, some of the visuals of the map are similar, uh, and also, of course, with the map design, some parts, but overall, overall, the game feels not like Paragon. So it's kind of funny because if you compare those them as a two Paragon remakes, I don't see Overprime as a Paragon remake. I see it as a new MOBA game that has some similarities, especially visually, with the original game. But other than that, it feels a different game. Now keep in mind, I do love Overwatch and I love viewer shooters and uh, uh, it's more, you know, it just feel more action when it comes to group fights when you play Overprime. I think that some players will actually love it and it might lead, by the way, to a really fun game to watch uh, as an eSport. However, you lose one important thing and this game really doesn't feel that it has lots of you know when it comes to strategies especially when you want to uh, build strategies around the lanes it just loses it because again i told you that once you know one tier is open up the game just fit like you know like a big brawl where everybody groups up and try to win against the others the other team and it happens a lot so now you understand it, it felt less of a MOBA game. It's kind of felt like more of a hero shooter with MOBA game elements. But that I mean the classic MOBA game elements, like if you take, for example, Dota 2, League of Legends, you know, into account. Now, of course, it will all boil down eventually to me playing both games and making a decision. I don't see many players playing both. Uh, just, I mean, you can, by the way, nobody stops you from it. But usually players, especially with taking mobile games seriously, they invest in one game because there are going to be many heroes. You want to try them all. So you're not going to spend time on both. You're probably going to choose one and go with it. And for most players, uh, so right now, I'm leaning towards predecessor. But again, I need to play it again when the game is out and then make the decision. Having said all that, by the way, I am enjoying my time with Overprime. It doesn't mean that the game is bad. It just means that if you are expecting something that is, well, this is the Paragon, well, that you played, you know, quite some time ago, well, it isn't the case. And some say in the comment section when I see those trailers for the heroes and stuff on the Paragon the Overprime, I can't, am I missing Paragon so much? Thanks for bringing it back. Well, it's not Paragon. Well, it's now called Paragon the Overprime, but definitely it couldn't feel far from the original game. And of course you can say, well, if it's Paragon and if it was actually with more amazing features, maybe this is the better Paragon of what it's supposed to be or should have been. But again, uh, the reason you missed Paragon is because Paragon was what it was. There was something special about it. And again, the map design is really a big part of it. Having said again all that, I still think uh, Overprime is, uh, is a great game. There are things, of course, that need to be improved. There are bugs and issues and uh, balance issues and other things that developers will work on, especially during the you know, early access uh, period. So again, I'm being kind of uh, easy on that and give the developers time to uh, make improvement and uh, make the game better. But overall right now, uh, my personal favorite one is Predecessor, but I might change and might dive into Overprime after I play Predecessor. We need to wait and see. Uh, for me, really, it doesn't matter how many are in each camp. For me, what matters is that I'm having fun uh, in a game. And the fact that Overprime feels like a new MOBA game, it's actually something that might be in favor of Overprime compared to Predecessor. Now, I think that the game that will bring uh, also the game to consoles, in, uh, you know, not something that feels like, you know, a bad port. Uh, the game that will implement some of the things that, uh, you know, make Paragon, uh, you know, the game that we all enjoy playing. Uh, you know, bring some of this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same thing. 
the game again that will be successful also as an esport and again it will might attract also players who kind of are fed up playing the dota 2 or league of legend and want a new moba game to jump into and for them to actually join they need to have a really good and uh, uh convincing esports scene and hopefully those two devs are focusing on that as well so which one you prefer let me know in the comment section below and be more specific why do you think one uh, is the one that you should play and not the other let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching everybody go certainly be leaving a like and subscribe waiting for your comments let's discuss it there thanks for watching